Hello everyone! Today we're gonna show you how to create a decorative lamp for 3D printing. First, we need to create a lamp base. To do this, we use the Shape Generator tool and set the settings of number of edges, button and top radius, height and also adjust each segment. Also, exact numbers that are used in this video tutorial you will find by the link in the description. Now we need to switch the projection to auto graphic and set the top view so that you can create the exact pattern for the future lamp. Now use freehand tool to change the smoothing and height. Now you can start drawing. You can draw any object you want so your lamp can be creative and unique. Next, switch the projection back to the perspective and use Rotate tool to rotate the object. Then we need to use Bend tool to bend the object under our base. Very simple actions. Next, we need to align our objects again with Rotate tool, Move tool and Scale. Remember to switch the position, keep proportion. Then, using Copy Offsets, copy the pattern a little bit higher. Copy Offsets is a tool that gives you an opportunity to copy elements using different macroses. Some of them we will use later. Now we need to add elements around the entire radius. For this, we use the special setting Pivot. It allows us to place objects around the central dot in the form of circle. Now select the base and create a copy of it. It will be placed inside of your current one, so you may not notice it. Then select polygons on the bottom of your lamp and move them upper. Next step is to use Scale and Move tool to reduce the base in its size. Select both bases and using Stitch and Scoop, especially difference, make a cavity in the base. Now create a new shape, a cylinder, and set exact measures. Then create another shape, a cube, and switch the visibility mode to wireframe. Then set the values we need. Ok, so now let's rename the base to lamp so as not to get lost in the following steps. And select the created cube, use the Align tool to align it with the base, lamp. Without removing the selection, create another small cube that is also aligned it
create a copy of it using copy offsets. Now select the base and do the inverse selection to choose the object we need. Then use Union. Ok, select the base and our Union object and use the difference to create cavities in the base using Union object. So we almost finished our modeling process. It remains only to create a cover for our lamp. To do this, we use Shape Generator and specify the values we need. Then we need to use a line tool again to align the object with the lamp. Use copy offsets to create a copy of the object. Now select two objects and use difference on them so we can make a cavity in the other one. Use magic fix on the cover and the base. And it's done! Today we created a beautiful decorative lamp model. Thank you for watching! Bye!